In this example, I'm going to show you a database that's hosted in FileMaker Go. What we've got here is a database. This is a FileMaker layout that you're seeing here. This allows us to interact with data that's stored in our database. And in this particular example, these records represent guests that are going to be attending an event. And we need to place them into a seat. So you'll notice over here in the Go layout, we've got this button. And what the button will do is uh, invoke a FileMaker web viewer. So you see we've got things like portals and tab controls and that type of thing already used. And so now we're going to invoke another layout object called the web viewer. When I press this button here on the iPad, you see that it takes us to a new layout in FileMaker. And you'll also notice that uh, we're able to use some animation and bring in some graphics that we won't be able to use inside FileMaker. And what it does is takes us to this seat map layout and all of the stuff that you're seeing here is just in a web viewer. We use HTML5 and JavaScript and FileMaker data all combined together to be able to allow users to do things like uh, pick on a user in a seat, which you see them appear in the status area. And once I've got somebody in the status area, I can then click on a seat, like this one over here. It turns red, but also now we're using what's called an FMP URL to run a script in this FileMaker database. And what this script has done is created a record in the background and then also showed us a confirmation dialog. So what we're able to do inside the HTML5 is call the script and the database and also pass it some variables. In this case, we pass it the variables of the section that they're in, the row, and then the seat location. So I can pick other individuals from my list. So here we'll pick on a different guest. We see that their name appears and I'm going to choose this seat over here. See that their name appears and also while that individual is active, I can also switch seats, which runs another script, which edits the seat location. So I'm passing some variables like the ID of the user and the existing seat location and stuff like that. You'll also notice that I can invoke a list view up here in the upper uh, right hand corner. I'll go ahead and click that and on my iPad. And what that does is invoke a screen that you see is built in a FileMaker. It's a FileMaker list view layout that shows all the different records that we've been creating in the seat map. So if we look at um, Chris Anthony, for example, we see a record here. I'm going to click this window and dismiss this layout and take us back to the seat location. So you see that the Chris Anthony record is chosen up in the status area, and you'll notice that there's a delete button here. I'll go and hit that delete can, and you'll see for a second that FileMaker uh, has now given us confirmation. And if we go back to the other layout inside FileMaker, we notice that there's no longer any Chris Anthony layout, so we can go back and forth and do these types of things. So FileMaker allows us to uh, use web viewers that can show anything that can be uh, displayed in a web browser. And in this case, we're using HTML5, JavaScript, and a series of FileMaker code. And just to give you a quick look under the hood, you'll see that we've got fields inside the database that store all the information that's necessary for all this functionality to work. We're calling different JavaScript, and you'll notice here in the middle, these are calculation fields that we're using to actually uh, populate the reserved seats as well as the, the seats, as well as the guests that are in the pick list. Now we could use an ex execute SQL statement if we wanted this information to be stored, but we're using a calculation in this particular example so that it's unstored, which uh, causes things to refresh when you have uh, another individual seated. So this is an example of FileMaker Go, a database created in FileMaker Go that, that employs HTML5, JavaScript, and the FMP URL, all displayed within a web viewer using data URLs to be able to extend the uh, functionality of the FileMaker database in ways that aren't uh, normally possible with just the FileMaker layout tools alone.